today I wanted to do a book review as I hold the book out here for you to see what it is. Hmm. Anyways, I just finished this book. It is called Wild Orchid, a retelling of the Ballad of Mulan by Cameron Doki. I just finished it yesterday. This is a retelling of Mulan. The first half of it is more about Mulan's past, where she grew up, where she grew up, yes. Where she grew up, what she did when she was growing up. She was kind of a jack of all trades. She learned how to do everything that girls were supposed to do, but also she learned everything that the boys were supposed to do as well, which was really not proper in China to learn, for girls to be learning how to shoot bow and arrows and sword fight and ride horses and stuff. So she was kind of a jack of all trades in that sense. I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail because I don't want to ruin the book for anybody. Of course, she goes to war in place of her father. In the Disney version, when she gets to the encampment and she meets, um, what are their names? The three dudes, the little, ch the short stubby one, like Ling, I think. Ling, Chin, Chin Po. See, I can't remember the name because I haven't seen that movie in forever. But anyways, those three guys she meets in the movie, she does not meet in the book. So the encampment scene was a whole different scene from the Disney version of Mulan. So that was a whole lot different, which was nice to see something different. Like, it is a retelling, so it is going to be different than what you've seen on the Disney screen. What am I saying? What am I saying? read a whole lot more about them strategizing to go defeat the Huns than them actually fighting the Huns. It's not like the Disney version at all. I mean, in some senses it's, in some senses, senses? In some senses. In some senses it is like Disney's version of Mulan, but in others it's different. Uh, the battle scene at the very end was not nearly as long as it is in the movie. Of course they go to war, Mulan saves the day, and she is honored, honored for her great work of saving China. Now that's pretty much all I want to tell you. I want you to read the book yourself if you want to. Because I really like, I really, really like this book. The last uh, retelling I read was of Snow White, and it wasn't as good as this one, I don't think. I think I just got into this one more, I guess. I might do a book, re a book review of the Snow White retelling, but uh, I don't know, because I already gave the book back to my friend, and I don't have it here to show you. But um, it was all right. I really liked this book, and I do recommend it for you to read. I do recommend it. I give it five swords out of five. Wah! Read it, enjoy it, love it. Leave your comments below of what you think. Do I need to keep doing book reviews? Do I need to not do book reviews? Do I need to just be a nerd and read the books myself and then not tell you about them? Or anything else that you might think of that would be awesome for me to do? Leave it in the comments below. And that's it. 